Karen. No, uh, Karen Astria. No, no, no. Unknown B. Unknown B. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yeah, now, now we're going on to Astria. Astria. This is going to be a tricky one. Because they both. Astria and Unknown are both, well, known for like their passive, reactive gameplay. That's, that's really how you play Mewtwo and Samus, respectively. I, I gotta point out another thing. Um, I'm not sure if you guys recall. The highest placing non-PR person eligible for the Arcadian will win. Right now, that is a tie with Linus, Daybreak, Astria, Midnight, and unknown. Interesting. So if the winner of this will potentially have a free chance into our Arcadian. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, Astrea, formerly known as Butt Rumbler, just so people know. Because uh, he was quite known just for his name. That's true. He, has the, he has the hat that says Butt. Yeah, it does. Everybody, everybody knew him for that. But right. Yes, this is the same guy, Estrella, and uh, I gotta say, as time go, has as time has gone on, because I remember playing him like he was the awful. first time I met him. Yeah, he wasn't all that good, but uh, as time has gone on, he's gotten really good. He's yes. a quick learner. So we'll see what he can do against uh, Unknown here. Yeah, I was gonna say, speaking of quick learners, oh, Unknown. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you have to adapt quick when your main practice partner is Zenodo. They don't uh, practice much. Oh, do they not? No. I well, actually talked to them about it, and they're like, yeah, they don't. Because they live, are they uh, unknowns like near Detroit or in Detroit? That, that makes sense. Right. They wouldn't live together just because they're <laughs> related. <laughs> it's just like, I guess I just assumed. Oh, 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 no. oh, is that it? It is it. A stray with the stellar kill off the top. That's not the right Samus. Holy cow. That was the... That was the wrong version of Samus. He took 1% from the magnifier, and that's it. Oh, my goodness. That was sick. That was, like, the first 10 seconds of the match. Yeah, that was, like, the first opening Astray I got just took the stock. But Unknown, oh with a great gosh. opening himself, if he faded that border away, he would have actually gotten it. But he went a little bit in, and because Astray chose to do the bomb, his hurtbox shrunk really small, and I was able to get out. Yeah. Talk about making a statement, man. I mean, how do you oh, respond yeah. to that? Oh, you're yeah, just thrown yeah. into the game and you're instantly dead. You're thrown into the game and thrown into the blast zone in the same gesture. And uh, unknown right now, doing a good job trying to come back. But when you have a deficit like that, everything that Estrella does is just extra credit. You know, so he's at 64. 71 now. Uh, and not feeling too great. I can't, I can't, I can't imagine. Ooh. I was going to say, keep in mind the reflector. Yeah, I feel like this is one of the one of the more interesting dynamics of this matchup is that both Ooh. of the nice back air gone, <laughs> just gone. Astrea playing great. That was incredible. It was. Yeah, watch. Okay, how how long did it take? Where was the opening? Uh, he probably dash attacked. Yep. Yeah. And then up air, up air, platform, up B. Ooh. What? I, I, but I mean, you like, yeah, it's a two stock, and yeah, that happened. Unknown was kind of keeping up with him. Uh, and that gets to your head, right? You're like, ah, right. I mean, game one looks like it's kind of over. For some people. Oh, but going to Battlefield here, we can see the platform cancels. Oh, yeah. Unknown loves Triplast just because he's so good at those cancels and implementing them into the actual gameplay. Like, it's not just that he has the technical ability to do them consistently, but he is really good at moving around with them and kind of escaping pressure. Exactly. Yeah, we saw him do the, uh, we saw him escape pressure and also add on pressure with it, yeah. uh, getting the Nair, which Mikir's Nair leads up to a lot of stuff, so using the platform cancels like that can uh, give you a lot of fortune. Australia using the bomb to try to force an option out of unknown on the ledge, which is a really good Samus option, especially with charge shot mixed in. I'm trying to call it the charge shot with the uh, the side B. It lasts a long time. The reflector from it. Oh, good stuff, unknown. That was one of the more um, interesting dynamics of this matchup that I wanted to mention was 
Uh, the fact that both of these characters become a lot scarier once they have their uh, projectile charged up. They do. Um, it's, both of them do a lot of damage to shield. Uh, they're really power. Oh my goodness. Australia's use of up B is really good. Oh, oh no. And uh, Unknown's not very good. <laughs> As he uh, does not be on the ledge there. Oh, getting. <laughs> They both threw grab, but uh, Mewtwo is Mewtwo, and yeah. Samus is Samus. Yes, that's yeah, that's pretty much. I uh, just gotta put it right there. Oh, Australia with the stairs. I like the that stairs. Was so smart. Woo! Oh, he's got the foot. So his Wait. his jump is gone. He left his jump at home, not able to get it. What a feed! That was uh. that was crazy. My man just took.